I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that you've probably seen a movie trailer before. If you have, you already know what a promo video looks like. Also known as a hype video, the primary purpose is to stir up excitement. Promo videos can be used across many different channels in your marketing strategy. Social media, email, landing pages, websites, and even billboards. As with movie trailers, you don't want to give the full story away up front. Keep promo videos short and to the point. This is your chance to spark curiosity, so leave the lengthy explanations to the demo videos. Just be sure to include the key points and put the focus on emotion. Depending on what your video is promoting, you might choose to script a live action sketch, use motion graphics, or have real people give testimonials on camera. Promo videos don't have to break the bank, but to grab viewers' attention in a short amount of time, they have to be well thought out. Hey there, I'm Blake Smith, the creative director here at Vidyard, and to my left is... Matthew King, I am the video production manager at Vidyard. He sure is. So now that we just uh, explained to you what a promo video is, again, it's that time that we want to show you an example of a promo video that we think is really good. Yeah. Uh, so the video that we actually want to break down and review today is from the airliner company WestJet. Uh, this video that they made is called We Treat People Like People. Dun, dun, dun. Let's yeah. Jump in. We're jumping in. <laughs> Here we go. How does it feel? So, right off the bat. We treat people like people. And what's the song playing in the background? It is the song Blue Monday by New Order. Give me the line. How does it feel to treat me like you do? Perfect, that's nice. <laughs> I'm taking you to karaoke. It was, it, was, it was in the video, so it was a little redundant <laughs> with me having to sing it. Of course, but. But right off the bat, the first, we're at 13 seconds right now. Where do you think this video is going? You yeah. see cows in an airport. Mm -hmm. It's already painting a picture for the, people. You know, the video is titled, We Treat People Like People, yeah. and then also have this song mm -hmm. where the first lyrics are, How Do You Feel? If you've traveled enough times, uh, even once you, you could have had just one travel experience and it been a bad one, and people come away being like, Oh, they, I felt like, just like, felt like cattle just going through the fence, just like going through the lines. You know, and this is quite literally playing on that mm -hmm. joke that mm -hmm. everybody talks about with air travel at mm -hmm. times. So this is like a really good example. This video is only a minute long, and right off the top, they nail it on the head with both visuals and audio uh, cues of what they're trying to demonstrate. Yeah. Uh, it's jarring in a really comical way. Like, it's really funny. Yeah. It, it really catches your attention. Yeah. Now, let's be real. Even the concept, imagine walking into an airport and just seeing that many cows in an airport. <laughs> that would just be pretty comical itself. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I really like what uh, WestJet did along with this video, because with this day and age, there's a lot of animal lovers out there, and some people, you know, their first thoughts were, are these cows real? Mm -hmm. uh, were they treated fairly? Sure. Um, so they actually released a behind-the-scenes video to support this to show where and when actual cows were used versus computer-generated uh, cows. So shots where there's close-up of cows um, or just a few, in, uh, a few individual cows, mm -hmm. those are actual cows in the airport, where it's the wider shots where you see tens, I don't know if you see up to 100 cows, but when you see the larger group of cows, mm -hmm. those are all computer-generated. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also touch on what they did to really keep the, the, the cattle safe mm -hmm. um, and not feel threatened or endangered is that they put up sheets to keep the, the minimal engagement uh, with, or interactions with humans. So they just felt like they're amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. But they also, too, laid down paper on the airport floor 
so that their uh, hooves uh, had a little bit more traction because I could only imagine a, a cow or a horse's hoof trying to walk on you know, ceramic tiling and whatnot to an airport. Yeah. It would be probably pretty difficult. I mean, you go through an airport with dress shoes on on a slippery or snowy day and you go yeah. inside and you're doing a little bit of the deer on ice dance when you first get in. <laughs> so you can only imagine having that naturally all the time. So that was very thoughtful of them, obviously. And so for them to release that with this, it just it shows that uh, they care. And as you said, it was thoughtful of them. Yeah. So right there, as you said, the tension's building, mm -hmm. and again, it's it's a clever way of the sound that they used to build that tension was the revving of an engine right. with the series of shots of all the things that you'll experience at an airport that just irritate you, mm -hmm. whether it's your flight being delayed, uh, the teller closing the till, mm -hmm. so now you have to go wait in another line. Your flight's been overbooked, so you're no you're off that flight now. Or your seat, your seat got changed, yeah. and now you're sitting at the back beside the toilet, or by, right in front of the toilet. Yeah, nothing. Um, I've only had one flight where I was sitting right in front of the bathroom, <laughs> and I was like, never again. <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to do it though. It, it's very true. <laughs> and then right here, this exact shot right here uh, is exactly what they're trying to capture: is that exact feeling of zigzagging through these. These yeah. lines mm -hmm. literally feeling like you've been herded, uh, herded like cattle. Mm -hmm. That's right, and uh, it's very, it's very, it's like the the ultimate tension builder, right? Because we do like a bird's eye, and we kind of pull out with mm -hmm. like these snap cuts kind of thing to show just like the mountain of like individual cows, animals representing also people just clustered in, and you're just in this zoo, this maze of just chaos, and it makes you feel like I've been there. So it's a really good visual mm -hmm. and really comical at the same time. Mm -hmm. Really funny. Mm -hmm. So lastly, I think what works really well is that for the first two-thirds of this video, you have no idea who created this video, who, what this video is trying to promote or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not until the 40-second mark you see the actual humans walking through the cattle mm -hmm. with smiles on their faces, um, walking up to the the kiosk or the mm -hmm. teller from WestJet mm -hmm. and, you know, them finally showcasing their brand and their, their experience that they offer when you, when you go to the airport. Yeah, it's really powerful because then they cut back again to, like, showing the plane taking off in the distance through the window and you see the cow, see the cow just, like, on the line, like the move kind of thing. And it, without... Did you say move Yeah, it's... Ah, <laughs> that's probably why they did it. That was probably, like, an inside joke that they threw in there. But that's what it's called, I guess. But, uh, like, the cow is looking out, like, at the, uh, through the window and moves which is kind of like the, oh, man of cows. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I should have I should have flown WestJet. Yeah, so it's kind of a, it's they, they really tied everything in really nicely with giving themselves, obviously, a pretty decent-sized mm. pad on the back. But it works. Yeah, and then just based off all the visuals and audio, uh, audio cues and stuff, uh, it keeps you engaged. So we, you literally watch at the end. Like, it's only 60 seconds, so it's n not that hard to get people to finish the video especially when you have something that is engaging or something that's going to entice the viewer to, you know, want to know what exactly is coming out of this video that they're watching. Mm -hmm. It's hilarious. Well done, WestJet. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a, it's, a, it's a really good video to promote how they treat their uh, customers, their people. Mm -hmm. Like people. <laughs> so now that we just finished watching that, Great example of a promo video from WestJet. Mm -hmm. It really just comes to show that when you are creating a video to promote an experience, a product, whatever it be, you don't really have to dive too much into details. It's more so enticing that viewer, keeping them engaged, you know, 
striking that chord of curiosity so they want to continue watching, mm -hmm. but doing it in an engaging and an entertaining way. Uh, so with this video, having the cows in an airport uh, with that popular song from the, I believe it's from the 80s or is it 90s? You um. let us know what, what, <laughs> what uh, decade it's from, but it, it just it plays all the right cards to really capture that viewer's attention and simply get that message across on how they treat their customers and they treat them like people, not just uh, cow. Right? Bingo. Mm -hmm. Anywho, so those, so those are just things to keep in mind uh, when you're creating your own promo videos. Just uh, figure out ways that you can entice your viewers and keep them engaged with something clever, creative, uh, and engaging. Yeah, you really want to move them. Thank you.